So this is a NTI TI-200. It's the second generation of NTI's high efficiency boilers. This one's about eight years old. We um, replaced it because of a le leaky heat exchanger. It was leaking condensate out the bottom of it, leaking down onto the gas valve and and it actually still ran. It was in operation for a few weeks. I kind of fashioned a little um, tin foil pan under it to keep the condensate from dripping down on the controls. And it actually was working okay till it didn't. <laughs> and the day we went over there, it had actually failed to run. Um, we actually... Um, fired it up we actually got it to fire and it was running for a moment and we had the burner door around the igniter was glowing red hot and we decided okay well let's pull this thing out and change it which we did and uh, I have not pulled anything apart on this boiler yet Looking at it initially, it may just have simply been a bad gasket. How in the world a gasket would have failed um, around there, I don't know. But um, we're going to pull this heat exchanger out of here and look inside and see what we find. Now, I have it all, all disconnected already, so if I can do this one-handed, I'll try it. So there is the blower assembly, gas valve, and burner for a TI-200. The igniter, from here it doesn't look half bad. So we're going to, uh, we'll pull that igniter out of there. There's the flame rod up on top. Burner looks okay. Refractory material looks fine. Even the burner door gasket looks intact. You can see where that condensate was leaking down here on everything. And But like I said, it was still in operation when we pulled this thing out. Okay, so let's look at the heat exchanger. Heat exchange heat exchanger looks quite clean. I don't remember whether I actually serviced this and cleaned it out during the eight years it was installed or not, but I don't remember that I did, and it looks like it's really not half bad. We'll pull that chamber divider out of there and inspect that. This heat exchanger is shot. It's definitely leaking, so there's not really much we can do with this boiler as far as salvage value we can certainly uh save the blower and and burner and that type of thing for uh future use if we wanted to it's got a good uh, fan switch electronic controls are all salvageable uh they are uh the same controls as all the nt nti ti series and uh, the only, I think maybe the blowers are different. On the smaller boilers, they're probably a different blower, actually, than I think about it, and burner. But these electronic controls are all the same. Fan, switch, fan switch is the same. Um, we're going to take the uh, cabinet apart here, and we're going to talk about the um, flu connector down in there. And we're going to talk about all the safeties you see, all the wiring going up in there. We're going to talk a little bit about that. And um, so we'll do that on the next video.